Hello and welcome to Apex Math. Today we are going to look at finding the surface area and volume of rectangular prisms using some shortcuts to make things easier and faster. All right, so first let's take a look for a second at what is a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is exactly what it says. It's the shape of a rectangle, um, because, but because it's a prism, it means it is a three-dimensional shape. So I'm doing my best here to draw a three-dimensional shape. It's a box, essentially. A rectangular box. That would be a rectangular prism. And we want to look at finding both surface area and volume. So let's first talk about what is surface area. Surface area is the area of all the faces of the object. So in this case, when we have a box, and um, actually I'm missing a line here, aren't I, from my box? I need that one there. Um, when we have a box, it has six faces. A face is the flat part. So if we look at like the front of this here, the front would be one face. The bottom rectangle here would be another face. And the back side here would be one, and this side right here makes four, and it has a, another matching one over here. I probably should have used the same colors to show the matching ones. And then there's also the top of the box. So um, I'm going to change my gray over here to pink because this one actually matched that one. So the two sides here are the same, the top and the bottom are the same, and the front and the back are the same in a rectangular prism. So you have a total of six faces, but you have really two, um, well, you have three sets of two because of the way they match up, because the top is the same as the bottom, the sides are the same, and the back and the front are the same. So let's clear our screen here again. And let's draw my prism. And this time we'll put some numbers on it. And when you're finding surface area, you need to make sure you always ask yourself, how many faces does the object have so that you can make sure that when you total up your area that you have a number that represents each of the different faces. So let's look at this. Let's say that this here is four and let's say that this distance right here, let me pick a different color, is three and um, let's say that this distance here is 5. So if I want to look at this and find the surface area, then the first thing I need to do is to figure out what is the area of this front rectangle. So the way I do that, the easiest way, is I actually draw the rectangle. I say, okay, here, I'll probably black on um, black is not a good plan here. Let's do it in white. Here is the bottom, and here is the side of rectangle number one. So rectangle number one is a three by four rectangle. But remember that there are two of these. The front and the back are the same even though my picture is not the most wonderful picture in the world here. All right, so then I'm going to do, all right, well, what's my next rectangle? Well, let's look at this one right here. 
here's the bottom, and there's no number here on this one. Well, a good thing to know in math when you're dealing with these types of shapes and any area problems is lines that are parallel to each other are going to be the same length. So remember that this rectangle and that rectangle are going to be the same. The two sides are the same. So since he has a bottom of 5, I know that he also has a bottom of 5. And I also know it because they are both parallel lines connecting into this rectangular shape. So he is a 5, rectangular, rectangle number 2 is a 5 by, and if I draw then his height of his rectangle, that was the 3. So he is a 5 by 3, and there's two of these also. Then my last rectangle is I've got the two sides, this guy and this guy. I got my front and my back. So now I need my top and my bottom. So we need to figure out that. So let's look at, um, I can do either. Well, let's just go with the bottom. Um, the bottom rectangle here, if I draw it in blue, it would be this rectangle right here. So if I look at to the two sides of that rectangle, it is a 4 by 5. And there's two of these. So I can say, well, rectangle 1 is 3 times 4, which is 12, but there's two of them. So I'm going to say 12 plus 12. Rectangle 2 is a 5 by 3, that's 15, but there's two of them, so it's 15 plus 15. And rectangle 3 is a 4 by 5, which is 20, so it's going to be 20 plus 20 because there's two of them. Now, before I am done, I make sure that I have six sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that I perhaps didn't just find my first set and forget that each had a match. Um, that's a common mistake, is the students will find these three and then forget to add their matching side. So I know that I need six checks before I can move on. Now I can add these up together. And this is not our shortcut, but we're just going through the basics of it. So 24 plus 30 plus 40. So that's 70, 80, 94, and whatever unit's in, let's say inches, it's area, and area is always squared, so 94 inches squared. So now let's look at what is the shortcut for doing it. All right, so this is the shortcut for finding surface area of a rectangular prism. In a rectangular prism, there's going to be three numbers that are going to be given to you. There's three different unique sides. Sometimes those might repeat. There might be two sides that are both six that are different sides. But you're going to have, we had a three and a four and a uh, five. I don't know if it was in that particular order, but we had a three, four, and five of the one we just did. So the shortcut is that I can just find the all the different combinations of each of these guys and then multiply it by two. So if I have the numbers three, four, and five, I can do the different combinations. I can do three times four. I can do three times five. And I can do 4 times 5. So those are the three different combinations. 12, 15, and 20. And then I remember that I need six spaces, so I add a second set of those. And then I can add up my results like I did. So rather than having to sit there with the picture and draw out which side is which and match it all up, the shortcut for finding the surface area of a rectangular prism is to just find those different combinations of the three numbers and you have uh, then don't forget you need to double each one 
Make sure you have those six check marks before you go on, especially if you're using this shortcut. Check to make sure you've added six numbers together and then you will have your final answer. All right, so now let's look at the volume shortcut. So volume is the amount that fills the space of our rectangular prism. And the volume, it's not really so much a shortcut. It's just remembering that if I have four, five, and three, that when I take my three unique numbers, and I just know that if, as long as they're each different sides, all I have to do for volume is multiply them all together. And that's it. I have 12, three times four is 12, times five is 60. We'll assume that we have inches, so we'll say inches cubed. So let's do, say one that might be a little bit different. Let's look at volume. And here's our rectangular prism. And let's say this time, maybe they label the whole thing. They say this is uh, three, this over here is three, this is three, and this is three. Then they label this down here as four, this is four, um, this here is four, and this as four, and then they label this as five, that one is five, that one is five, and that one is five. So if I look at this, it's got all these numbers all over the place because every different side is labeled. Again, all I need to do is find the three unique ones. So if I look at my height is three, my length is four, and my width is five. So whatever all the other numbers are, it doesn't really matter. I just do three times four times five, 60 inches cubed. And again, for the surface area, I look at my numbers, three, four, five. I do three times four, three times five, four times five. Get each of these products and then make sure I have two of them. Double check, do I have six sides because it's surface area? Before I add, check, I have six sides. Now I can find my total surface area, 24 plus 30 plus 40 equals 70, 80, 90, 4 inches squared. So that's it. Those are the shortcuts for finding the volume, which is just your height times your length times your width or base um, height like whatever you want to call the different sides, but the three unique sides and your shortcut for your surface area. Is the three different combinations. Double each one. Make sure you have six total before you add. And you should be good to go finding your volume of your rectangular prisms and surface area. I hope you enjoyed us at Apex Math as a parting gift. I will give you a rectangular prism for you to find volume and surface area. Ten, six, and four. Volume, ten, six, and four.
surface area, 4 times 6, 4 times 10, 6 times 4, oops, I did 6 times 4, I um, need to do 6 times 10, 6 times 10, 24, 40, and 60, but remember, this is where we, students will make a mistake, there's only three of them, so you need two of each. So we're going to have 24 plus 24 plus 40 plus 40 plus 60 plus 60. Add these all up. You get 124 plus 124, 248. This one becomes 6 times 4 is 24, 10, 240. All right, thank you for visiting us at Apex Math. Uh, do us a favor and please uh, like us and um, send us any comments of any future videos you'd like to see.